Hey guys, happy Tuesday. All right, this is our last lesson of chapter four. I don't know about you, but I feel like chapter four has drug on forever. But home stretch, last lesson today, we're gonna review tomorrow um, and Thursday, and then on Friday, we'll have our test. All right, guys, so multi-step division problems. So let's look at what we've got. There are eight dinner rolls in a package. How many packages will be needed to feed 64 people if each person has two dinner rolls? Okay, so first things first, we need to go through and find the important information in this problem. Okay, so we know that there are eight dinner rolls in a package, okay? They wanna know how many packages are going to be need needed to feed 64 people if each person is getting two. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we don't know how many packages we need to buy until we know how many rolls we need. So how are we going to figure out how many rolls we need total if there's 64 people and each person's going to get two? What could we do? Oh, I think I heard someone say it. Did you say multiply? That's exactly what we're going to do. I know we're in a division chapter, but you know what? Sometimes in these multi-step problems, it's not always going to be the same operation. Sometimes we're gonna have multiple operations, adding, subtracting, multiplication, division, all in the same word problem. So the first thing we're going to do, we'll call this step one, is we're going to figure out how many rolls we need total. So I'm gonna take 64 people times two rolls each. Okay, now we're gonna have to kind of go to the past and go back to chapter two, real early in chapter two, where we learned how to multiply multi-digit by one digit numbers. Okay, first thing we do, always ones times the ones. So what is two times four, boys and girls? Nice and loud for me, what is it? Very good, it is eight. So I'm gonna put that eight right here. Then the second thing I'm going to do, I'm gonna come back to this ones place and then I'm going to multiply it by my tens place. What is six times two fourth grade? Very good, two, four, six, eight, 10, and 12. So I'm gonna put that 12 right down here. Okay, so we need 128 rolls. That's how many we need. So. Now we have to figure out how many dinner roll packages we're gonna have to get if there's eight in each one. So how would we figure that out? Very good, we're going to have to divide. We're going to look at, see, we'll write it out over here, step two. We're going to have to take the total amount of rolls that are needed, which is 128, and we're going to have to divide it by how many rolls are in each package. So I'm gonna put that eight right here. Okay, and now we just go back to our steps. Does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers? And that first step is to divide. Can eight go into one? Oh, no, it can't. Who remembers what we do if it cannot go into this first number? Very good, we just put that X as a placeholder up there to make sure that we keep our numbers lined up correctly. Very good. So now I have to look at, can eight go into 12? Boys and girls, can eight go into 12? Sure can, how many times without going over? Very good, one time. So I'm gonna place that one right there above that two. Okay, second step, we are multiplying eight times one gives me what very good eight and i'm going to make sure i keep it in line and i put it right underneath this two i can't put it underneath this one because that's we're done with that row we didn't it didn't work we have to line it up how we are okay so then i'm going to subtract 12 minus eight gives me mm -hmm. Good job, gives me four. So I'm gonna place that four right here. Then I have to check. What am I checking for? Right, I need to say self is four less than eight. And yes, it is. So I'm going to be like, okay, I can move on now to my next step, which is to bring down. What am I bringing down? Not the roof, 
not the house. I'm gonna bring it down. Very good. This eight right here. Okay, so now I've got 48. Remember, once we create this new number, we are done working with these numbers. We're not looking if we can go back into those numbers anymore unless we come up here to bring down some more numbers. So now I'm just looking at my first step again. We go back up to the top. Can eight be divided into 48? Yes, it can. So now we know that, okay, it can, but how many times? Eight times what is going to get me very close to 48 or exactly 48 without going over? Very good, I think I heard someone say it. Six is correct. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring that six on top of this roof up here. Again, making sure that we are lined up correctly. And then I'm going to multiply. Am I multiplying eight times 16? No, I am not. Remember, it's always just the divisor times whatever number you just put up top. So eight times six is, very good, it is 48. I'm gonna place that 48 right down here. Then my next step is to subtract. 48 minus 48 is zero. Very good, it is zero. I'm going to check, is zero less than eight? Oh yes, it is. So we are good. And then I'm gonna bring down, so I come back up here. Is there anything left to bring down? No, there is not, which means we are done. Very good. Do I have a remainder? No, I do not. So that means that my answer, my quotient is just 16. So we are going to have to buy 16 packages of rolls if we want to feed 64 people to dinner rolls a piece. All right, guys, you're gonna have some um, work in your folders for today's lesson. So please make sure you go back and double check and make sure you don't overlook anything and make sure you're getting things done. Your chapter four test is in two days. So you're gonna have some review work as well tomorrow and Thursday before your test on Friday. Always come back to these videos if you need any help or reach out to me if you need help as well. You guys have a wonderful day and I will see you next week with a new lesson. See you later guys.